Hey everybody, Ryan Charles from Nitty Gritty Studios here. Today I just wanted to take a quick look at the video and audio animation in the timeline for Final Cut Pro 10. So here we are on the timeline right here, of this clip that we have open. And we're going to open up the video animation for this right in the timeline. You can do this in two ways. You can either hit Control V to open it up with the shortcut, or you can right click on the clip and choose show video animation. Now once it's open, you'll see that some of the parameters have these little drop down triangles, like opacity here, that you can click on and get access to settings normally found in your inspector. This is a way for you to edit these parameters, not up here in the inspector where you normally would the old fashioned way, but rather down here in the timeline instead. Let's get rid of those. And now we can click on the drop down and either hit R to select your range tool where you can lasso and then drag, or you can option click, create a keyframe and drag it individually. Now if the parameter doesn't have this drop down triangle, it means that you can't adjust the intensity of that individual parameter. However, you can drag left and right with the keyframes and adjust the timing of said parameter. Hit Control V to close the video animator, and now hit Control A to open up the audio animator. You'll see it's the same basic principles before, where some effects, such as chorus here, have a drop down triangle that you can click on, and then you can create keyframes by option clicking on it, dragging them individually, or just like before, hitting R to get to your range tool, lassoing a selection around, and dragging up or down. This is just a quick way to create four keyframes without having to option click four times. Let's take a look at changing the timing of some keyframes for gain. You see here, if we create two keyframes by option clicking, going up into the parameters in the inspector, opening up the gain. Let's go ahead and raise the gain for this final keyframe. Scroll on back. And let's say, let's lower the gain for this one. As you'll see, we have our automation in between the two keyframes. Now, as I mentioned before, unfortunately you can't drag this keyframe up and down to change the level of said parameter, but you can drag it left to right to change the timing. So let's say we wanted that to be closer. We could go ahead and do that. You can also dive into the sub parameters of each parameter and place keyframes just for those specific elements. Then, as you cycle on through them, the ones that aren't the main keyframes will be blacked out, while the ones inside your parameter will show up as white. It's an easy way to know what you're playing with. Now, if you go back to all, everything will be white, and you'll have difficulty figuring out which one is which. So just keep your eyes open. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it, and come back for the next one.